it's Marilla Minnelli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna take my client who's naturally silver gray and she's got some old grown out highlights and we're actually working on transitioning her to a lesser maintenance. And usually what we do is lots and lots of baby lights and it's been about four or five months since I've seen her so her baby lights have grown out beautifully. We're gonna add in a little bit of highlights, not as many as we did before and we're actually gonna go in with a cool icy toner to help blend in her natural gray into those highlights so we have a much even smoother grow out. Overall we wanna get her to a point where she's just doing glazes, we don't wanna do any highlights anymore. So I think it's perfect service for her. I'm really, really excited to share it with you. But before we move on, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. Now let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So as I mentioned, my client hasn't been in for a few months and she used to have a super heavy baby light with a cool toner and it's actually faded out beautifully and it's blending in great with her natural hair. But as you can see, she has lots of white growing in. So now we just want to really enhance her natural hair and how beautiful it is. The overall goal is to create less maintenance so that way every six to eight weeks she's just coming in for a simple cool toner glaze instead of having to do a full baby light every single appointment. What I'm going to be using for this project is Kenra Professional Blue Powder Lightener at a 1 to 2 mixing ratio with 20 volume developer and my favorite Fremar foils. If you want to check out any Fremar products you can tap the link in the description of this video and it'll take you all to my favorite products. For her sectioning, I'm gonna be using her natural part as my guide, and I'm gonna also be going in diagonally with all of my application for the foils, except when I get towards the top, I'm gonna to start pivoting, and you'll see what I mean by that as you continue to watch this video. Now for the actual weave itself, I'm taking quarter inch or eighth inch subsections and then weaving on top of that. And I want to create something in between a baby light and a traditional highlight. And each section is probably gonna be a little bit different. And the reason for that is because as you can see, she's much whiter towards the hairline and more darker in that interior. So I just wanna add a little bit more heavier highlight for that interior because that's gonna allow for the natural grays and the highlights and everything to really blend in. Again, that overall goal is to create a lot less maintenance for her, but also a slightly brightened effect. But we don't wanna constantly be doing back-to-back -back baby lights every single appointment. So that's really why I decided to go in with this particular application. So once I get that first foil in, I'm gonna start creating small or slightly pie sectioned sections. And what that means is towards her part, it's going to be the more narrow side of the section and towards the interior, it's gonna be the more wider part of the section. And again, you'll start to see as I pivot because once I get towards that top, I wanna to come in horizontal to or parallel to her parting. The overall goal here is to create a very natural end result that is gonna have the lowest maintenance possible. So that's only gonna be about 16 foils total that I'm gonna put into my client's hair. I decided to use the blue powder lightener because it does give me the most POW out of all of the lighteners possible. It has the highest alkalinity and the most lift possible that I'm gonna get. And I love this lightener, especially for transitioning anybody that wants a very cool end result because it gives me the most lift. Plus, the blue in the blue powder does help a little bit with toning as it's lifting. So I'm going to continue on with this side. There's only going to be about seven foils total on her right side. And then once I get those foils in, I'm gonna start working on the opposite side, going in the same exact fashion, except we're gonna change it up just a little bit when we start to work in her fringe area. 
So you can see I still took some diagonal sections and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I apologize that I didn't get to show you that very front section, but it's very similar to the other side with the exception that this side is basically much wider than what I was working with on the opposite side. So I decided to split this entire section up into two different rows until I got closer up towards the head. And I'm still pivoting here and creating those pie sections. So I personally like to work in areas or in spaces that I can control most that are no wider than the foil that I'm working with. And I also love tri-folding and the reason why I love tri-folding is it prevents the foil from slipping in addition to the proper amount of product being applied. But you can see here that it's still angled, which is going to give me the most softest transition. And then right when I get towards that top section, you'll see how it really becomes more horizontal. So this is a perfect shot right here that shows you exactly how it lays right on top of her part area. Also note how baby fine and really a true baby light this top section is. And the reason for that is because you can see the transition of her natural grays and her natural hair color, the darker gray that you see. So this is why I decided to go in with this application right on the top. If you wanna check out more videos that are pertaining to the direction of highlighting, check out my other video called Four Foil Placements and the effects they create. Uh, the link is gonna be right here at the top and you can check that out. And I think it's a great video to explain direction and how it really can change the entire look. Now I'm gonna process her for just 20 minutes. Generally with working with this light of hair, 20 minutes is just enough, but sometimes I will process up to 40 minutes with my blue powder lightener. So after she was done in that 20 minutes, I took her over to the bowl, removed all of her foils, and then did a pre-tone with a blue purple shampoo and got ready for her final toner. So for the toner, I did apply it onto damp hair and I used nine violet metallic with 10 silver metallic at a one-to-one -one with nine volume developer, applied it onto the mids to ends first, processed that for 10 minutes, and then applied it to the root area for an additional 10 minutes. And we really just wanted to create a nice sheer tone that was nice and cool and still natural. And here's the final result of this silver blend. And I think it looks really gorgeous. A great starting point for that transition that we're looking for in her hair. So that we shouldn't have to do so many highlights and we can just start glazing her up into a nice cool silver shade. She's really, really happy with it. Finish it off with a little trim. And I really hope you've loved this hair tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And be sure to check out my other hair tutorials right here on this channel. And Comment down below what your favorite part of this entire tutorial was. I would love, love to know. Um, and I'll be sure to respond. Also, um, if you want free education or check out my other courses, you can head to my website at morellaminelli.com. And you can even sign up for my newsletter and get free education right to your inbox. And be sure to check my podcast called Hair BNB. It's a podcast about hair, beauty, and business. And finally, be sure to check out my other social channels like Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok, all under Morella Minnelli. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, hit it right now, and I will see you in the next tutorial.